Leaders, diplomats and global representatives have gathered in Nairobi, Kenya for the Africa Climate Summit, an event focused on addressing the devastating impact of global warming and climate change. The summit aims to tackle the challenges posed by increased droughts and flooding that have made millions of Africans poor, sick and hungry. Kenyan President William Ruto urged participants to shift their focus from problems to solutions. It is time we flipped and looked at it from the other side. There are opportunities, immense opportunities as well. Eastern African countries have grappled with severe droughts in recent years, leaving over 20 million people needing humanitarian aid, according to UN agencies. This past year, Nigeria has faced devastating floods, displacing over a million people and worsening food security. Migration from affected areas, growing competition over natural resources and water scarcity due to change rainfall patterns have also increased the risk of violence and conflict in Africa. Paul Ekwar is a community worker who works with Wetlands International in northern Kenya. His community relies on livestock as a source of livelihood. Persistent drought has killed animals, wiped out pastures and threatened peace between his community and its northern neighbour Ethiopia. Equa says Wetlands International has set up a system to manage the effects of climate change. We are helping communities uh, do receding of uh, degraded, uh, degraded uh, rangelands. Uh, that improves the environment and the, the environment because it will increase the pasture and um, and the livelihoods. And through that, uh, we through that we also. Um, uh, support sustainable peace co and coexistence uh, among the communities living along the, the border lines. Delegates at the conference are discussing Africa's attempts to transition to cleaner energy sources and ways to obtain financing for climate change adaptation. African countries have consistently called for developed nations to contribute greater funding to combat the adverse effects of unpredictable weather patterns. Frederick Kwame Kuma of the African Wildlife Foundation says Africa can use its natural resources as a bargaining chip in the negotiations. Our biodiversity, like I said, is a third of the world's biodiversity asset. That's a carbon sink which we, we should uh, build upon. But we should also use it to have this conversation about what should the world give us to protect the resources we have. The conference will conclude Wednesday with the outcomes and reports shaping the statement that African heads of state will present at the 2023 UN Climate Change Conference, known as COP28, in the United Arab Emirates. Mohamed Yusuf, VA News, Nairobi, Kenya.